get our hands on this thing and see what we got. We definitely had them all around us. I'm talking literally all around us. How the emotion starting to set in. Unbelievable. <laughs> Down to the wire. He's coming in. He's drinking. This week on Double Lung Outdoors, we're with Dare to Hide in North Carolina. We're about an hour west of the Outer Banks. A couple of months ago, I was visiting with Kenneth. He had mentioned that we had had a couple of spots reserved out here at Dare to Hide and uh, asked me if I'd like to go and uh, I had wanted to bring Teresa. I'd been out here before a couple of years ago, had a really good time and I thought Teresa would really enjoy it. I'm so excited to be out here to visit Dare to Hide with Double Lung. Paul's been before, but this is my first trip and I'm just super excited to get a black bear. We came up with a plan where we was just going to drive out and kind of do a vacation. So on the way, we spent some time in Mobile, Alabama and went to a little concert. And then we, you know, eased up into Helen, Georgia, which is a really cool little German town up in the, the mountains there in the northern Georgia. Spent a day there and then we came over here and, and met up with Jaron and Shane. They've got some spectacular bears here. They're, you know, generally between four to 500 pounds is not too difficult. Teresa and I are out here for five days and uh, see if we can't get us some good black bear. On arrival at Dare to Hide, it was a big group of people excited for opening day. We were making it for opening day. So we got checked into our room and went to the lodge, got to meet everybody. I wasn't familiar with bear hunting, so Paul had to show me the anatomy of a bear, what we were looking for, and aging of a bear, sizing of a bear, my shot placement. So we went over all that and got a little education for me. We got to meet all the guides, and this is their fifth generation of boys coming up and working at Dare to Hide, so it was interesting to meet all of them. And uh, we had a great dinner. We have awesome food. We had ribeye steaks for dinner, opening day. Went out, got our guns sighted in, got ready to go. Met up with our guides. They assigned certain guides. They kind of pick and choose as to who will get along real well. Met with Jamin, the owner of Dare to Hide. Um, kind of went over some of the things that was gonna uh, happen in the next couple of days. This morning we got up about uh, 3.30, uh, had some breakfast. This is our first morning. Weather seems to be okay right now. It's going to get a little chillier throughout the day. Uh, wish us luck. We got out here in the fields this morning. We had about an hour drive over here. Uh, we're going to leave the trucks. We're going to do about a 20 minute walk into where we're going to hunt on this field, the CRP field. Got a little rain this morning. You take what it gives it to you when it gives it to you and uh, wish us luck. So one of the unique things about Dare to Hide's operation is, is uh, they have, you know, have these large cornfields surrounded by a refuge area that uh, these bears kind of go into for a safe area. They come out into these fields and they eat this corn. They don't really hibernate here because of the temperatures and everything. So the fact that these bears are getting so big, is they just have the perfect environment uh, in order for that to happen. Southern Ohio Outfitters is your premier 100% fair chase whitetail hunting operation. Southern Ohio Outfitters has been guiding hunters to their trophy of a lifetime since 2005. Call or text Dave Lusk at the number below. It's our first morning at Dare to Hide. 
We uh, got some rain this morning. It's about 5.30. We're going in about a 10 minute walk to get in, get settled before sunrise. We just had a bear come through. He wasn't quite what we were looking for. A little on the small side. So we're just going to wait and see what else we see. Left. Okay, so we've got a pretty good bear coming. I don't know how big he is yet. Grab you and get ready just in case. Left or right? The left bear looks better. So Teresa's down the way, this way here, quite a ways. Pretty sure we heard her shoot a few minutes ago. Uh, we'll check it out here in a little bit and see what happened. We just got a radio confirmation that uh, Teresa did get a bear. Uh, went probably 30, 40 yards and uh, they've recovered it. So here in a little bit, we'll get down, we'll go down there and check it out and have a little visit with Teresa. I bet she's really excited. I shot him about 70 yards out. He didn't go down, he stumbled. He got a second shot off about 50 yards and he made it to the edge of the woods. We heard a splash, so I think it may be a hard recovery in the, in the water, Matthew. Mm -hmm. Woo! Are you serious, you found him? <laughs> Woo! Hey, what do you think of that? Oh, cool. <laughs> Woo! <laughs> okay, we recovered my bear. He's about 30 yards inside the woods cross some water, it's gonna be a hard recovery, but he's very nice. I was super excited when I got up to him and got to see him. Didn't believe it till I saw him, of course. So, can't wait for Paul to see him. My first bear, and he is great. I'm super excited. Ladies first. <laughs> what do you think? Yes. Thank you. You happy? Yes, I'm very happy. This guy was with another one. We kind of watched him about 250 yards out, watched him walk in, took a shot, not till about 70 yards. He sucked it up and had to take a second shot about 40 yards. He ran little ways, ran into some water. It was a little hard recovery, but we got him out and I am super happy. Congratulations. Thank nice you. Thank you. 
This segment is brought to you by Talent Roofing. Quality roofing since 1987. Kuiu, the most advanced mountain hunting clothing and equipment on earth. Alamo Precision Rifles, the best rifles this side of the Pecos. You know, when you harvest your bear, you know, you try to sit there and guess as to the size of it. It's real exciting when you get to the skinning shed with your bear and everybody from the community comes and they're all excited for you and they're all guessing what these bear weigh. And it was a lot of fun. It was real interesting to watch. Oh my God! I cannot believe that! When I come on these hunts with Paul, it's not just about the hunting. There's a lot more involved in it. You see beautiful places, you meet great people, but you get to enjoy the surrounding area at the same time. So we like to go venture and we got to go to the Outer Banks. We like to find great places to eat. And we went to an awesome restaurant built in 1940s, family owned that was really, really great seafood that you can enjoy. There's a lot around here to enjoy along with the hunting. It's not just about the hunting, it's everything that goes along with it. You know, when these bears come out, it's kind of hard to judge. 350 to 450 pound bear, there's really not much difference there. These bear are really tough, so you want to come with some firepower. We chose 375 H&H &H Magnum for us to use here. We've got experience with that over in Africa. We knew what the weapon would do. You know, your caliber choice out here is, is real important. We'd like to show y'all some clips from some of our past adventures here with Dare to Hide. We're gonna stay along this dike right here. Got a lot of high grass. He's working his way back this way. They come, they bed out behind us, feed out in the night. So, uh, Nathan, you ready? You ready? I'm ready. Let's, Let's go. go. Well, today's the last day of the first season uh, here at Dare to Hide uh, on the bear hunt, and it is our last day, so we're going to try to get it done this morning. Uh, you're watching Double Long Outdoors TV. We're going to call it quits and uh, get out of here and catch the flight. Be back next year. Right. I'm taking him. He gives me the nod, says yes. And I put, I put it on him. God almighty, I thumped him. <laughs> man, I'm telling you, three years, Matt. I mean, he's a good bear, Matt. You just gotta tell me, man, left or right. You gotta tell me, Matt. I mean, I think he looks good. Yeah, I got him, just everybody stop moving. He needs to stop.
Got him. He's done. Oh my god. He's done. Oh my god. Boom! Woo! Dude. <laughs> 260 maybe? This segment is brought to you by Elite Archery, makers of the world's most shootable bows. Vortex Optics, the force of optics. Slick Trick, the deadliest broadhead, period. Scott Archery, the number one name in the release game. This segment is brought to you by Dillon Manufacturing, fiberglass deer blinds. Everly Stock, our favorite hunting pack. True Glow, when brightness counts. Fox Pro, high performance game calls. All right, here we are. I uh, got up a little earlier this morning here on day two. Uh, yesterday was a big success here at Dare to Hide. Uh, Teresa was able to harvest a, a nice bear at 507. I believe in, in camp there was uh, 11 bears shot yesterday. Half of those bears were over 500. Uh, the top bear yesterday was 651. We had spotted some bears yesterday in a certain area that they've seen some really big ones and we're headed back over there this morning. So, uh, wish us luck. We've got about a mile walk on us. It's uh, pretty chilly today, but we think the wind's gonna play in our favor and uh, we're gonna get in there without spooking anything. Hopefully we'll kill us a big bear today. The wind's blowing. We got, got everything situated, got ready to leave the truck. We had, once again, another good mile walk. We hiked up in there and got set up in the blind Man, just things wasn't going our way. There was, there was no bear, there was no movement. We were beginning to wonder if maybe we had made a mistake. And we heard a noise off to our left side. Unfortunately, we were set up to the right where the bears were moving through the day before. And uh, man, it wasn't long. Shane, who was running the camera, spotted a bear about 85 yards to our left coming through the CRP field. You know, we had a little bit of a fiasco up there on top of that stand, moving around trying to get set up. We put one in him. It was a good shot. The bear went down. Uh, we immediately put in a second shot. Good shot. Good shoot. Hold, just hold it on him. Hold it on him. He comes up kill him. Kill him. Kill him. <laughs> Put the smack down on him, baby. It don't get much better yeah. than that. <laughs> we just killed us a nice bear. Woo! Boy, that happened quick. That was that bear. Man, that was awesome, buddy. Let's go take a peek at him. Sounds good. All right. <laughs> I'm still, man. I can't believe he dropped right there. I mean, boy, that was a smackdown. And as we're walking over there, you know, in the grass and part of him sitting in the field, I'm looking at the bear and like I said, they're really hard to judge. And as I'm easing up there, I'm starting to think, you know, you know, maybe he's just not as big as I thought. And, and, and I got within 10 yards of him and that man, I was excited. It was a huge bear. Congratulations, Paul. That's a, that's a good one. There. Thank you, Chase, man. That's you guys out here at, at Dare to Hide, man, y'all have a fabulous thing going on. Lots of big bears. Well over 500 pounds. Man, it was just the most exciting thing to see such a large bear. It was great. We got a little earlier start today. I uh, had a little further to go. We came around a different direction, back to the same stand. We'd passed on a bear yesterday. It was a, it was a nice bear, but we thought we could do better. So uh, we got set up early this morning. You know, we were set up looking in the direction the bears were moving yesterday and um, all of a sudden, Shane spotted a bear to our left where we were all facing right. So we had a little bit of commotion there getting moved around to get the shot off. And we were able to close the deal on this nice, fabulous bear here, out here at Dare to Hide in North Carolina. You know, they weigh them and register them in and, and log them into log books. And that's, you know, that's just a pretty exciting thing to, to sit there and just kind of see what's going on, you know. Yeah, 546. 
This has been a very successful trip this time for Teresa and I. We were able to come out here and harvest two awesome black bears. One came in at 5.07, the other one came in at 5.46. You know, over the years, the double lung team has paid their dues out here. This trip was, you know, it was just our turn. Can't thank the guys out here at uh, Dare to Hide enough for treating us as good as they did. This place is just first class. If you're looking to hunt some big black bear, this is where you need to come. Teresa and I has had a great time, and we hope everybody's enjoyed the show. You've been watching Double Lung Outdoors.